All right, guys, good morning. Sorry about the uh, stream ending soon. Just a mistake there. Bad click. Oh. Let me get things set up here and we'll get started. Sorry about the uh, <clears throat> the long wait screen there. Got some stuff I was doing. Good to see y'all. Joseph, Rom, welcome in. Let's uh, get away from my, my tablet to fire up here so I can actually jump into the game. No, you're not late to the party. Hope you guys are having a blessed day. First time tuning into the streams. Welcome in, Implicit. That coffee is way too hot right now. Way too hot. All right, so what's on the agenda today? We are going to try to get some of the tasks done. We basically completed scouting yesterday, so yeah, we'll get some of the tasks done here on Scandinavia. I'm gonna have to figure out the whole crafting of wooden planks issue, but I can do that pretty much just with the air matsu, so it's not really uh, not really a thing. So yeah, let me uh, let me get my tablet all working here, and we're good to go. All right, sweet, we're good. All right, well, let me uh, get this game capture. See if this works here. Game capture is always stupid. Okay, whatever. Snow runner it is. Snow runner it is. All right, there we go. We're up. The update will not manage to draw me back. I am a man of my word. The update is not going to change the the overall concept and the gameplay of it. If you guys know me well, um, if I've played SnowRunner for four years and I've read, I've wrote out the uh, the ebbs and flows of bugs, and still played it, yeah, that means I enjoy it. Expeditions, however, overall I just didn't really enjoy it. So, bugs, no bugs, updates, no updates. It's not going to draw me back. For now, I'm going to say for now, it's not going to draw me back. But yeah, if, if, if people like it, play it, please. Absolutely play it. Okay. So, of course, it's nighttime. It's always nighttime in hard mode. All right, so yesterday off stream, I did a little bit. <clears throat> of uh i completed the scouting essentially i just basically went up here popped this radar trailer grabbed a couple of these um these missions to unlock and uh yeah with the load star it was even tough this these areas up here are actually super thick i didn't i didn't really like really understand how thick they were until i took a scout up there um i really thought the load star was going to crush this however i mean i am pulling two trailers with me so that could have been the issue but What's the test map that I use? That is actually a private test map, so I am not at the liberty to share that with you, unfortunately. Or I would. Okay, so let me see here. Um, scouting the area first. Okay, that's not even a, that's not even a really good. <laughs> if I had to play all Snowrunner with six trucks, what would they be? Oh, that's a that's a crazy question. I don't know if I could fare. I don't know if I could. I'm starting to like, the more I drive trucks, the more I kind of branch away from 
ones that are, how do I say this? Very easy to drive, easy to play. So I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know if I, I can rightly answer that though. Oh, that's by the lake. Cool. Spirit of the river. No, sorry about that. Movie star. I'm not going to do that. I'm just trying to make sure there's nothing that opens up any. Consumables. I'm pretty sure I opened up all the. Yeah, we're good. <clears throat> okay. Anyways, let's press forward here. Accidents happen. The log trailer to the rangers. Let me orient myself here so I'm not... Actually, it's like this. I think so. Wait, no, it's not. Yeah, it is. Okay. Friendly help. Scout trailer. Repair the CK. Bent not broken. And a lot of repair stuff. Burlac. Yuck. Man, there's a lot of repair stuff. Planks. Four planks. You know what? We're going to do this. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to get these blockages. And that means... Welcome in, TP. All right, since he is kind of low on fuel, I need to transfer a tad. But I need to do something as well. I need to start getting fuel to some areas. And uh, what? It's a hundred percent scout fuel carrier. Okay, that's that's go. That's cool and all. All right, so what I'm going to do actually is I need to get a... I got to set up some support or I'm going to have to use a step deck. So that's what I got to do. I got to get some support out in the field. Before I can even start plugging away missions, I gotta set up my my logistics. So first off, I'll take this. Uh, I'll take this up here to the top of the hill. Yeah, good morning everyone, welcome in. I'm gonna try to get some stuff done today on this Friday. You guys are uh, ready for the weekend. I am going to my, my nephew's birthday tomorrow. Tomorrow morning actually. So that should be, should be fun and exciting. Almost just wanna I'm just gonna plow up this this slope to be honest. Yeah, we're just gonna go straight up this slope. I'm gonna get that before I do anything. From the free station in the glades? Oh man, that was that's old news. That's old news. That's like season eight news, season nine. I did that already. Wow, I'm actually stuck here. These are mud tires. Yeah, I did that already. I didn't take much. I took a little bit, but I didn't take much. The thing is, I don't really need it. There was so much free fuel from season 10. It was unreal. If I take you into my garage right now, 
I can show you how many trucks. So I have two trucks. I have two fuel trucks out right now. I'm going to show you all the fuel trucks I have right now. Just from free fuel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten. I currently have ten fuel trucks completely filled. Yeah, there's, there's no, there's no reason I need any more fuel. And to be honest, if I'm paying for fuel right now, it's not really even a big deal. Even if I, ha I didn't have zero trucks, I, w I wouldn't even care. Oh man, I had to, I'm trying to drink coffee and drive at the same time. I mean, think about it. Like th this map is gonna give me like 500,000. Okay, I'm probably gonna spend Maybe if, if I didn't have any fuel trucks at all, I would probably spend. You know what? Hold up. Let me see if that does this go anywhere. Is there any any missions that take things to the top? Give me a second, y'all. Because if there is, I, I need to do this. Sideboard trailer now. Cellulose now. Scout flatbed now. Curtain side. The cabin now. The yard. I'm not going to worry about that either. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to worry about that either. But we'll do all the stuff. A lot of repairing, I feel like. You dropped your War Thunder addiction just to get addicted to SnowRunner. I dropped, I dropped my World of War ships. What's up, Trumpet? Welcome in. I dropped my World of War ships um, addiction to play this game in 2021. I kind of played it still a little bit from 2020 to 2021, but February 2021, I completely quit. Um, World of Warships. Well, I kind of still dabble in it here and there, but not much. Uh, what's up, Prizzy? Welcome in. But not much. This is a deep area, man. The crazy thing is, like, I don't think people understand that this northern side of this map <clears throat> is not necessarily friendly. I just think the, yeah, I mean, it was kind of crazy. Like, the Lodestar was kind of struggling up there, and I was like, wow. Sweet, if you can like fly down these hills and hit these jumps with the trucks, how cool would that be? I know some skiing content. What's up, W? Welcome in. That would be sweet. Can't go up that way. I'm gonna grab this other fuel trailer here, and this I'm gonna take this to the top too as well. There's just a lot of missions going to the top, so I think it would it would make sense to have to be able to refuel after you expend all that uh all that fuel going up no no dude. i never honestly i always i always have i've always had some type of fuel reserve on every map to be honest i've been i think sometimes i'll be a little bit lax about pulling some out like i think there's some trucks that i've i haven't pulled out of the garage in multiple seasons what's up victor welcome in Can always start off doing logging, yeah. Oh, 
Oh, this is why hard mode is It's probably not too exciting for y'all because this is a this is a part I don't like doing and just setting up all this stuff. I wish I could just I probably should have just did this offline. Set up all my fuel stops and then we could just basically hammer away. But I don't know, sometimes this is good to show. Okay, that's a free one. That's coming with me. So do you think there will be a year five in SnowRunner or is Expeditions was supposed to replace the game? Expeditions wasn't a replacement to what I understand. I believe it was something to be, to live side by side with SnowRunner. Um, SnowRunner, I know for a fact, is going to get a year four, which we know. Year five, um, I hope not. I'm gonna be real, I hope not. I really think, I think after year two, I was kind of feeling the game was being strung along. I think year two was the perfect, the perfect ending for SnowRunner, in my opinion. But uh, maybe not. Maybe not. I think ending ending at year two with Glades is actually pretty bad. So year three, even though I didn't really want to play year three, I was actually excited for it whenever I played the maps. I think they are probably year three is probably the best maps that I've played so far other than year one. Just visually impressive. Um, I don't think they should put out a year five though. I think they should just concentrate their efforts on, if Expeditions is still going, concentrate your efforts there and also maybe look into creating a, a new game based upon what has been learned from um, SnowRunner and Expeditions. You need to see it's how you survive with the tips and how to do stuff. Well, there you go. I'll guess uh, it's a good thing I have this stuff in there. You hope they implement new features from exhibitions to SR, which ones? I don't think the tire deflation system is a good thing to do to SnowRunner. I think it's gonna it'll, it'll break the tire selection system in the whole game. To be honest, I think the the winch pull winch pull push that's that's exactly the one I want. I think that'll be the only one I think I want. Blazer, welcome in. Dirt, welcome in. If I haven't said that already, you're still in your three, especially. Oh my gosh, man! British Columbia, that's a good map. It does make up for all the flaws that come, yeah. I do think, honestly man, season 10 probably had the least amount of bugs just because they did not try to introduce any type of crazy new mechanic. It was just a, a straight up, straight up experience. You know what the crazy thing is? On Map Runner, this area, this, this resupply zone is not here. I think Map, so Map Runner needs updated, but I'm not the, at the liberty to tell anybody because that's not my job. Would you want them to make a third title in the main series? Yes, I would. I would honestly like to see like a mud runner too. Kind of go back to the roots of it. Okay, so that that's there. So here's what I want. Here's essentially what I want. I want a fuel trailer here or a fuel truck here. I want one. Um, I think here. Ish. Yeah. I think Sandrunner was a placeholder for Dakar, actually. So I don't I don't think I think Sandrunner is not a thing. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna put one down here by this warehouse. What about anchors? No, I don't think so. Anchors are, I think anchors are kind of cheap um, for, for the, for expeditions because you're kind of out there alone. Um, 
it's okay to have that forgiving yeah the anchor thing actually i don't know so let me think about that anchors kind of would be nice i guess i don't know but then again there is something about having to basically come out and rescue yourself that is kind of uh i guess i, I, I want to say like more realistic i guess but the game is not about based on realism so let's let's not take it there <laughs> Uh, I don't know if they can use that name, Fares. I don't know. That's a good. That's a good. Uh, that's a good point. It would have to be like SnowRunner Two or something like that. I don't think it should be SnowRunner Two or something. I think it should just be something else. The water depth tool that would be kind of cool. Actually, I think the water depth tool would be cool. I like that one. Something is weird, I just realized that normal trucks have normal trailers, but small trucks get normal trailers. There's so many small trucks that we could just have fuel repair and cargo. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's that's true. The drone? Well, I mean, you have the drone here. Here's a drone. It's not really like crazy crazy length but i mean it's a very short range drone which is photo mode they license the name blood runner I, I think but people were talking about that was like the zombie game they put out the free cam is a water depth tool yeah kind of i can kind of agree with that okay next trailer or next next vehicle Try to keep this map in. Okay, so this actually, you know what I'm gonna do while I do this? Actually, is I think this thing called left by the bridge no i can do it now eastern blockage no it's in a tough spot now no shoring up losses no it's this un unfortunate it's unfortunate where's unfortunate yeah i can take this here i'm gonna i'm gonna do this right now with this uh this truck here and then we'll set this in place i might as well just take this while i can Actually, yeah, I can go that way. Then after that, I'll bring him over to this production area. Ads aren't fun, even if they do they have their purpose. Yeah, I know that. However, Prime subs are free and they stop ha ads. I believe if you're subscribed to the channel, you will not have ads. That's, that's the name of the game. This trailer. I remember you. There you go. There's a there's a prime sub. Thank you, Fares free prime sub that you have enjoy ad free viewing my friend 
What's up, ITMO? Welcome in. Prime subs are free. Thank, uh, thank Jeff Bezos for that. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Mom, for your, your Amazon account. <laughs> Oh, that's right, Turbo. If you have Turbo, I think you don't have, uh, have ads, but essentially it's like YouTube, but hey, you can view for free, you just have ads. Same thing as YouTube, you have ads. Unless you have, like, a, I guess an updated form of Adblock Plus, which they've actually messed around with Adblock Plus, so it doesn't, it doesn't allow you to do that anymore, but you kind of can bypass it, I think. which somehow defeats ad block. Yeah, it does. Well, the thing is, it defeats ad block because it just embed, I think it just embeds it straight up on the video. Like it just, it pauses the stream for you. Oh, it's called U block. Yeah, U block. Might have to get that actually. Ad block is how old now? I don't know. Probably pretty old. I mean, it serves its purpose, except for YouTube now. Which kind of stinks, but it's fine. I think I think I appreciate sitting through ads now that I am actually a content creator. So if I'm watching a video from someone now that uh, I have to sit through ads, I, I mean they're all skippable pretty much. Like the the front of the ads are usually skip. Actually, they're mostly all skippable. So except for Twitch, but on YouTube, absolutely they're skippable usually. Now we turn around. Okay, I'm, I'm actually gonna take this this to that warehouse over there because I think I, I touched that where, warehouse much more. The minute long ad, yeah. What's up, Scorpy? Good morning. Yeah, it is great because that is a scout trailer and I don't have a scout truck to pull that. So I just completed that mission just by winching it, so it's kind of nice. Trying to do two things at once, you know what I'm saying? Complete missions, put support trucks in place. I think it's totally unnecessary. You don't have access to all those repair zones in hard mode. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I think so too. I think that's like the, the biggest gripe I think I have with hard mode is I should be able to kind of like re re up my repair points at my garage at the very least, man. I should be able to go back and be able to pay for it. Do you know what I'm saying? Like just to resupply repairs, not not anything with fuel. You know what I'm saying? For the sake of hard mode, like no. But okay, so we'll leave him here. I'm gonna go back to the garage. Last truck I'm pulling out for this is gonna be, I think, the Warthog actually. Actually, no, I kind of want to use him. Uh, do I have the Warthog? Did I sell the Warthog? I think I did. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to do. 
Croc is going to get this. And then I'm going to go back. I want to use the this what's it called the Zix. I want to use the Zix for something else. Not just a fuel truck. I want him for for hauling cargo. I like I like hauling cargo with him. So I'm gonna transfer all this fuel to him. back in the garage cool back to crocky crocky dial I'll roll down here I'll put my croc here for actually I need a generator Okay, I need to buy a generator. Yeah, yeah, okay. Hmm. You know what I don't like? I think I'll be all right. I think I'll be all right. Actually, you know what? Hold up. I'm gonna fill up this. I'm gonna fill up this uh this trailer just in case. Just in case, because I know the croc doesn't have much fuel in that thing, anyways. So just wanna make sure he can get I can get through some of the crafting. Old croc, man. Yeah, it is pretty small. This truck is, in is incredible, man. I've actually broken speedrun records with this, or I broke one speedrun record with this this truck actually. On my first try, I was all over the place. It was actually a pretty sloppy speedrun, but just because uh, this truck is just insane fast, but yeah. It's crazy. If you think about it, it's a pay to win truck? Kind of, yeah. Yeah, I could do that, TP. It is really capable. It's actually... Probably one of the more capable 4x4s off-road trucks, to be honest. I think it's 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 on par with like the 566 Alpha. Maybe not in terms of hauling, um, just because of the collision things and just yeah. I think the 566 is pretty crazy for that, but it just doesn't have the the capacity. I feel like they're both. I don't know. The 566 does burn a lot of fuel though, but you can just downgrade its engine because its its power to weight is still pretty good. What's up, Cyrax? Welcome in. It is super cheap for hard. This is probably the best purchase for hard mode, I think. I think anyone playing hard mode, I think uh, spending 20,000 is, well, that's pretty cool. I noticed that, that little drain. Oh, there's a nice little Kodiak. Kodiak Jack. Actually, no. I know where this goes. Yeah, wait, with medium loads, the Warthog? Twenty is base price or with add-ons. I think it's base price, but it's still pretty great, though. 
still pretty great. I think it might have its, its sideboard bed with it. Okay, so I could do log trailer if I wanted to. It's in a tough spot. Scout flatbed. There. Okay, let's see. What's up, horn cat? Then you're about 9 p.m. Well, good afternoon. <laughs> is there a truck to think is overkill for normal mode? Um. Oh gosh, Blazer, you're going to get me started here. A lot of them, man. There's a lot of trucks that I think they're just totally overkill. A lot of the a lot of DLC trucks. Um, I think a lot of trucks that are a lot of the Russian trucks as well. Um, let's see. Appreciate that, Scorpy. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know. I think I think mostly in general, like the biggest highlight is the year three trucks. Mastodon. Yeah, I, I don't know. And then you could we could also talk about the how, you know, jumping forward in DLCs to to just get super capable trucks, right? Um, you know what? I think I'm trying to think here, man. Okay, I need to just go do something. Let's get the Western Star here. Okay, so I'm gonna go um, in a. I'm gonna do in a tough spot. What's accidents happen? We'll do in a tough spot. Accidents happen. I can pull both of these up to this area, and then I can just grab this trailer and then bring it to this spot. Get my free trailer. What's bent not broken? Deliver the white western star or deliver the... Where's it at? Oh, he's down here. Oh, I could probably do that too. And then I have to repair him. Okay, maybe I'll do some of that. Mastodon is, is a premium truck, right? Both six. Honestly, like I could probably go through the whole garage and show you what's I think is overkill for this game, but... I don't know. I would be called very polarizing, wouldn't I? I would get the comments of it's a single player game and uh, we shouldn't limit people. I get those cries a lot from uh, from a lot of folks, so I don't want to uh, go there, I guess. The new, the new Azov is going to be great, to be honest. I think that if the thing fair, they, they destroy progression. Well, progression kind of gets diminished because people just skip ahead because there's every every big YouTuber or everyone wants to make videos saying like, oh, just go get the uh, the takeout or the Azov or this and that to start Michigan. And then they, yeah, they start Michigan and the progression's just out the window, right? But like, if you follow the natural progression, I feel like it does naturally progress up to the end of year one, maybe into year two, but still, um, I mean, they, they, they're just throwing, you know, Russian truck after Russian truck at you. And now like with the, the standalone DLC being the, the Adam, you, you were essentially just getting, um, another 64131 slash 73210. I'm guessing. That's kind of what I'm guessing. The thing is, like, that's that's the thing. Like, they always say, well, you don't... <laughs> that's always the other comment is, like, you don't have to use those trucks. But it's like, you're right. And I, and I don't use those trucks. But the thing is, because I don't use those trucks, every time they put out new trucks, I'm stuck using old trucks. Because they're just so good. Right? And it's just like, I'm not really having a ton of fun if everything is just so overpowered. But hey, to each his own.
So the thing is, yeah, I want to play new stuff. Yeah, I just want to play new stuff. But the thing is, like, when new stuff is just super good, it's it's like feeling like using the old stuff that's just super good. So that's just kind of my my perspective, I guess. Yeah, and then basically the players optimize the game, yeah. And then people make said videos on... Yeah, and that's why there's no videos on my channel of how to go get the Azov, how to go get the Tega. I, I like, I've never done that. I will never do that. I never want, I, I never want to do that. I think I'm a very big believer that there is some type of progression laid out in the game. It's just, I think... I think they just got away from it. They, they really did. They got away from it. Why does the Mac and the Femme not get ice tires? I'm pretty sure the Mac gets, uh, gets chains. You've been using the Tega? Can you take the balloons off of it? Yeah. Tega's good, man. With or without balloons, the Tega is just a monster. That's the thing, man. The Tega does not break records of, like, speed. Um, or power. It's just... It's just all around a, a great truck. It, it has probably some of the best balance properties that you could have. Yeah, the Mac has changed. You're talking about the Kenworth? But like that, that's also like it's a super heavy. Yeah, I 100% agree, Victor. Actually, I think the Tega is probably the best with OHS-2s, but the thing is, I'm, I'm more of like a min-maxer. How do I say this? Because I know the Tega is very good at balance, but like, if I'm haul usually if I'm I'm gonna be hauling cargo with it, right? I'm not gonna be like running around with, with no cargo. So like yeah, doubles make sense. Doubles are like the best for me personally. If I'm gonna go try to do like contest, I'm gonna probably throw the OHS on just because I know like I'm not pulling cargo. But if I'm pulling cargo, yeah. OHDs are just so good. They're just an unreal good. Like Victor, Victor said, uh, this goes up here in a tough spot. I need to actually activate that mission, to be honest. You feel bad you use a take with balloons? I wouldn't feel bad about it. I mean, if you're having fun, have fun, you know what I'm saying? Um, the, the 605R doesn't have mud tire, or chains. You fail to see the point of trucks with dead axles? Um, honestly, I don't really find them too troublesome, to be honest. I mean, I think they're just there. Yeah, I think I think they're an overall weakness to be quite honest. I mean, that's that's just a true a true statement like but I mean, I don't feel they've really hindered me to the point where I'm like yelling at my screen. No, that's the thing, Scorpy. They are pretty good. The balloons, the thing is the take with the balloons are actually good. You do get good performance. No, you do. It's just uh, because they are still a heavier, they are heavyweight tire, okay? But I mean, like the thing is, is they slow down in heavier mud. They slow down a little bit more, but they but they can go through super mud because they're just balloons. But their speed is gonna be is gonna be slowed down. So that's the only thing. So I mean, yeah. And they are the TMHS, so like just because they're the TMHS and not the AMHS, they're heavier. 
And they're not soft. I think they're average. So, there is that. If they provided something, that'd be awesome. But, I mean, to be honest, I... I know there's a lot of folks that say, like, they've used them for, you know, going over icy areas to spread out their weights. I don't know if that's even tried and true. Um, I'm not going to test it because I just, I'd rather have weight on my drive axles. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's true. Yeah, dirt, dirt kind of hit it on the head. The problem is not that really they did axle. Often it's just they, they have bigger problems with ground clearance. Yeah, that's essentially what, what the root cause is, is just the ground clearance issue. Meta of the game makes OHD2 better? I'm not sure. What do you mean? I'm going to go drop this stuff off first because, yeah. On the Tega? Why is that? You went from the CT681 to the Western Star 49X. Just gives you something to look out for. Yeah. Honestly, the 49X is a good truck too. I enjoy it. Bring this to the right area. Oh, sorry, it goes here. Oh, I have to drop these first. Okay. You missed the golden age of Michigan? Yeah, right? Okay, let's go down and grab this other trailer here. They can be pure pain. Yeah. Been there, done that twice. Honestly, man, if uh, if you have like a burlac or a tatrin, it kind of makes it stupid easy, though. Honestly, if you have a tatrin, it makes it pretty easy. But now that's a, that's another thing is like people, because people hate a more and they they think it's like unreal hard. Um, and I understand it is hard. They are probably more inclined to come up or come over here, get the troll tamer mission, which is the burlap, and then just take it over to uh, to Amor. And you've only switched trucks once, a thousand hours, dude. I I'm gonna be real. I, I feel bad for you. <laughs> feel bad for you. <laughs> you switch trucks one time. Use the Tatrin for some of them. I'm mean, going back. From the Bear Mountain Poi, flip the yeah, the Bear Mountain point of point of interest. I forget what the Bear Mountain was. Cove is a bit challenging too. Cove can be challenging, I think. But when you find out you can cross the ice and get across the map in like five, like two or three minutes. It does become a little bit easier, actually. I can show you, Soul, if you want me to.
CT681 and 49X. Scandinavia is season 11. Yeah, Scandinavia is season 11. Oh man, I can actually do this. Wait. Yo, Jags, thank you for that raid. Appreciate you guys coming in. Welcome in, guys. Happy Friday. We are on season 11 Scandinavia hard mode. We just started. So, welcome in, guys. Good to see you, Jags. How was your stream, man? I can't hook up to this because this truck can't hook up with this configuration. So, we have to uh, haul it out. You just started a more nice, man. Awesome. Love to hear it. How are you enjoying it? What do you think so far? I've played a more twice, so I'm interested to hear your thoughts. You actually might enjoy it more than you thought. It's awesome, man. I think you will too. I think you will too. I think once you figure out the shortcuts and and uh, the flow of things, yeah. But also, if you ever get stuck, you can follow. I have a, a zero through one hundred playthrough on hard mode that I completed in seventy five hours on a more. So, might give you some ideas on on different things. So, just take it for what it is. But yeah, man, enjoy it. It's a hard region. Enjoy it. The hardest they have so far. You had some help from a couple viewers. That was pretty much held my hands. Nice, man. It's always good to get some help, right? Yes, warehouse troubles. <laughs> warehouse troubles is like crucial. It's crazy how we still remember that. What's up, Evil? Welcome in. Appreciate you guys stopping in. Thank you for that raid, by the way, again. Glad you had a great stream. All right, brother, you take care. Have a wonderful Friday. Have a wonderful weekend. Really? You don't like you don't like the looks of a more? Man, I actually think the, the snow maps are pretty beautiful. But hey, to each his own, though. Honestly, man, like the, the nighttime, the music changes. That's the thing. Like, if you ever notice, if, if you if you're only like a daytime player, when you change to night, the music changes. Like, I think the music in North Carolina at night is like really sweet. Yeah, northern northern installation makes it painful. Ursco River is kind of painful too. Cosmo, not so much. Um, there's parts of Cosmo that kind of can be pretty pretty bad, but depending on routing, I guess. Yo, Ice Dragon, thank you for that follow. Welcome in. I know you probably like to deviate from Expeditions chat, but it's made me so much more grateful for Snowrunner. Really, it's all right. No, I can. I'm, I'm okay with talking about Expeditions. Yeah, um, I think coming back to SnowRunner after dabbling with expeditions, I am very much thankful for this for this uh, this title. Honestly, man, the game music is—I literally have my game music turned up. You can see, <laughs> look, hundred <laughs> percent. I jam out. Dirt. I think me too, man. Me too. I, I kind of like just recently understood that music changes at night. 
which I think is great detail for like the developer, right? Because it kind of like fosters in that like chill, like kind of it says like you know what I'm saying like a chill night, trucking slowed down. I like it. I don't know. That's just me. I like it though. Can't wait to get the North Carolina because that's where you live. It's a good map, man. It has its, it has its challenges in certain ways. I think more logistical. Um, I'm still kind of brainstorming on how I'm going to like figure out how I, I'm how I'm going to figure out my support trucks placement on like Pine Line Bay and stuff like that because like the the crafting is just odd, man. I feel like I don't craft. I think I think after you're done crafting to get out of Pine Line, you really don't come back to do it at all. If, if you just concentrate on opening up warehouses on every map that you step foot on, you're pretty much good to go. So, I, I don't know. Cool. I'm gonna actually leave this here. We are actually gonna go get this uh, this load star up here. Actually, so I think it's called not Western Blockage Shore up. No, it's not way it work. No, not you. Not look what I can do. I think it might be friendly. Is it friendly help? No, load star. I'm gonna have to repair him. So I'm I'm gonna have to like bring him back to the garage, grab a repair trailer or something, and then. There's other missions I need to repair stuff, so I'm probably going to have to do something like that. But the unfrozen standing water, it makes me so se little sense. Yo, salad gravy, welcome in. I can't put him in this sideboard. He's too big. So, it's fine. You're taking a break from Yellow Rock? Yellow Rock, season six, right? Main. Yeah. Okay, so I got a, I got a, I got a couple tips for you. Um, for that. Because I, I know it's probably a, a super big slog, but... So, let's go back to main here. Yellow Rock. Okay, so like, what, what I think your slog is, is probably like over on the west side, right? back through here, delivering stuff. I usually don't use this warehouse. So like going along here, yeah, you got this broken ice, which you're probably like slogging through. There are ways to like just cut around it. So like the the, the crazy thing is like a lot of folks don't know the middle of the map is actually like crucial. Um, so if, if you were coming through the gateway from Lowland, which you're gonna do a lot, getting north and south very quick is really simple. So what I do is, so instead of taking this over this blockage what I do is um, I think it's like right here at this telephone pole basically what you do is you turn through these trees right come right up through these trees make this left go up here make this right or you can go straight okay and follow this route and then take this northbound I would actually take this wave though it's I think it's faster this is gonna be a little bit tippy terrain here so like be just be careful um, then you basically just take this all the way north and it is like a smooth ride pretty much until you get up into here and it slows you down a little bit. But yeah, and then it just gets you northbound as fast as possible instead of taking all this time to go through broken ice or even navigate around these, right? So that's a that's literally how I've I played this map was the center of this map. There's a lot of like really cool runs and stuff like that. So, yeah. You've just been dragging the dairy through, through ice. Yeah, I think, honestly, the, I hardly used any super trucks, man. I'm going to be real. I, like, I play, I've been playing chronologically, and I've, I really don't have... On, like, how do I say this? I have like 100% on this on my YouTube channel, and I very rarely had to place like trucks to ferry these across ice. I know like right here to get to this warehouse, you kind of have to deal with this stuff in some capacity but uh i mean even getting across here i know that you can take 
you know, ways around these ice, these ice coves, but I won't get into that. But yeah, I, I do think this north south route is, is just amazing. I definitely would use it. Even if you don't use that, you want to like come over here and cut over. Even going up this way is faster than I think a lot of these slog routes, but I think we were talking about what was the other somebody was talking about something else. There was the other map they were they were stuck on. I forget. Was it Cola? So Cola is super easy, man. I think like once you figure out to get across the ice on Cola, it's it's actually simple. Like coming out of the garage, this is all solid. The the only part you have to really be concerned about is when you cross here. This stuff can break. So what I do is I put my Put my tires on this ice these ice shards and then just blaze across and then you ba basically you're already to the north drive up here this is a very smooth ride you're, you made it all the way to the north part of the map if you want to go to the western part pretty simple come right out of here down to this ice this is all unbreakable um you can follow this pretty much all the way over to these to these sections and even uh to this little island here come around or but i think the only part you really need to watch is like down through here and then like down through here as well, especially when you descend, you have to like kind of like curve. But yeah, anyways, I, I divulge. Let's continue here. But yeah, I'm, I'm huge on some of those shortcuts. Actually, hold up. Let's just stop here for a second. I need to get gas too. But I can get gas actually when I pull him back to this area. So, we go down, cross that little stream, boom, 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 and I'm going to have to get a repair truck at some point. But yeah, I love, I love those like little shortcuts and stuff like that. Those are the best. That's why, like, there's like there's like people that say that expeditions is is not repetitive like Snowrunner is, but the thing is, like, yeah, Snowrunner, you are taking things to the same area multiple times. I do get it, but expeditions, you are doing the same. But the thing is, in both cases, two drivers might take completely different routes. You see what I'm saying? So, there and back, there and back. So, I mean, it's it's all up for debate, I guess. Oh, you're welcome, man. I'm glad I could. I'm glad I could give you some info. I love. I love. Uh, I love trying to help people. To be honest. Collection of YouTube videos that show you the best path. I actually have a series on all of the year one maps called Route Runner. The year one maps are the hardest maps in the whole series right now, in my opinion. So. I didn't continue it because it just would take too much work and they didn't really get a lot of uh, exposure. But um, I really think it would help. It really would. I think it's going to help people. My main experience is good too. I think even on lowlands, I think if you when you figure out that you can just cross the middle of the map very easily um, without having to take the uh, the actual routes that they assign, you you just cross the map in a blaze that's another one I can I can show if you guys want to see that as well but yeah I mean throughout this whole this whole series oh, dude he's just going so slow I wish I could switch to him and put him in, in neutral should just be able to load him up actually I wonder if he I don't know if he fits in my bed or not. I think he does. You're teasing me to make more? Yeah. It's just a route runner was probably the, the most intense, most, oh man, it was just crazy. It was crazy. It was crazy. I can, this crane will get it in there. I can find it. We can try it. I'm pretty sure I have before.
I can't lift him from that angle. I have to bring him out in front. Yeah, I have to lift him out from the side. Current gaming climate in a nutshell. You want, I want a streamer to tell me what truck is OP. Oh man, I think just by using trucks you can just tell, to be honest. Huh? I think... Yeah, it does. Wow, it does. Kind of. I probably can... Scoot it back a tad bit. Yeah, it does. How about that? I would have saved a little bit of time, right? Uh, I would say so, yeah. I would say it's a super truck, yeah. I actually have a, a, a review, a very detailed review on it at my YouTube channel, and I actually also... Um, also, I have a tier list, and I, I ranked it. It's an, S, it's an S class, basically. But I don't think it's... It does have some weaknesses. Though. But uh, yeah, I think it is a super truck. But hey, man, I mean, honestly, if, if you're enjoying playing it, dude, just play it. You know what I'm saying? The Dairy Special used to be in the really bad place before they actually updated it and gave it gave it some things. I know I have videos on those as well with uh, the collision mesh and stuff like that, so. I need to repair him. I don't have any. I need to repair a truck. Yeah. So I have to just. He has to chill. Unpack. Okay, there we go. Cool. Um. Okay, so I need to get a truck out to just start. Actually, this is. Large Scout to go to the production. Actually, you know what? Check this out. Check this out. Where's that repair trailer at? There it is. Why is it the Tatcher T805? I don't I don't know if the Tatcher T805 is the worst. I mean objectively if you're talking about a snow runner truck in the game, that's probably the worst. It's if we're t not talking about like the smaller scouts, I would probably say a highway truck like Ford CLT. I mean, I mean even though I, I think, you know, using those, there's definitely, there's a lot of fun to be had with like, you know, Transtar, stuff like that. Okay, let's use, I'm going to do that. I'm going to like use this here. That's so great. Okay. Now I deliver this. Now I deliver this. Um, I probably need to actually get this Tega. Refill him real quick. And then he'll be done. And I'll take this large scout trailer over there. Star just healed his brother, yeah. Basically. 
Man, the nighttime looks great here. I gotta say that. The sky is just crazy. You know what I hate doing, man? I hate giving fuel to a truck that I know I can't get it back. Like, I, like for those missions where you're dropping off a truck, I want to siphon those and get some fuel back, but you can't because it just disappears. Okay, let's put this back down here. I'll just put this like here-ish, side of the road, by these trash cans, or tip over his trash cans. Loadstar. And to... Cracking away today, guys. We're getting done, getting missions done today. I do forget, though, I know I have to make or I have to get a lot of short logs to, uh, to make like planks and stuff like that and I forget how many is the number but I do remember it's it's quite a bit I would have to like go back to my other stream and check so no there's a lot of crafting to be done there think three loads are enough? Okay. I think I think it was like Jigsaw had me pull like 15 loads of it. But I didn't pull them all at once. I just I stacked them. And then I just, you know, did the whole overstack thing. And then just delivered them. When I got to the area. And I think it, it definitely was enough. Yeah, I don't, I didn't, that's the thing. I don't know if that's, that's needed. 50, yeah. I, I, I'm pretty sure if I go back to my, actually, you know what, I'll do that. Let, let me do something. Because I can go back to my main playthrough and go back and look at that. Um, What's it called? I won't actually drive over there, but I can just go back and look. We can go back and just check that out. some more coffee man <laughs> I feel like some of these load screens take forever some not so much Okay, um, season 11. <laughs> I still had 10 short logs. So wait, one short log is a plank? Is that right? I still had 10. Yeah, it is true. All about perspective, I guess. These loading screens are pretty fast on PC. 
crazy thing is I'm on a laptop too. So it's like, <laughs> you don't know, don't know why you uninstalled it in the first place. Maybe you just needed space, man. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it is. I think it's a great game. Coffee when Monster TM branded beverages exist. Wait, what? Monster branded beverages. Dude, I don't even drink energy drinks, man. The only energy drink I'll drink is like Jocko. Jocko fuel. That is the only one. Wait, I think this might be a multiple. Oh, wait, is this one that... Yes, shoot. Not good. Yep. I could use mine to repair the rest of him. I don't want to do it. I don't want to use my chassis. I could use my chassis. I don't want to do it. Because that means I'd have to go all the way up to the top of this mountain. Again, to resupply. Yikes, man. I think I'll just pass on that for now. Repair the scouting hunter, deliver the scouting hunter. Oh my gosh, there's so many things. Okay, I'm just gonna get a, a truck out to basically run repairs. How much was my gaming laptop? Mine was like seven, 750. And your and it loads faster. Are you restricting it, or is it just your computer? Um, I have a what's it called? I have a Scar 17 2021 with a 3080, a GTX 3080 in it, and also a AMD. I think it's 59 5900 HX. But you gotta understand, I'm, I'm also streaming at the same time, so there's a lot of processes going on. So streaming and uh, and playing take a good bit up. Oh man, do I want to get out another another fuel truck too? I almost want to just get another fuel truck out. It could be the game. To be honest, man, there's some maps that load like almost instantly. Well, not really instantly. Okay, so. I need to repair this. Um, however, I probably should just go grab Troll Tamer and bring him over and do two things at once. So I could go get Troll Tamer. Which, where the heck is he at? Oh, there he is, of course. Bring him over to here, then repair him. I have to come back and get the Scout 800 too as well. So it's either I grab the Scout 800 and bring him. Where's that Scout 800? This one right here. Deliver, repair. Okay. Oh, that goes to the farm. Okay, never mind. It goes the opposite way. So Troll Tamer, we're going to do. And then I'll just... Uh, Worry about that junk later. Burlac, yep. The good old Azov, man. I guess the Azov is going to be my repair refuel truck for a good duration. But yeah, so the new the new truck coming out is basically going to be I'm honestly thinking it's probably going to be either the Azov 64131 with like special beds. Um but I, I really believe it's probably going to have bigger tires. It might just be either a little bit better of a version of this truck honestly, so I don't know. What's up Cal Farmer? Welcome in. Who knows? But I think if you don't purchase it, you're probably not missing out on much. 
but we'll see. I need to take a look at it, though. It's just going to be another... Another do-it-all. I'm pretty sure it's already going to be an S plus or an S truck. So they're making it a heavy truck, so it's probably going to have some weight to it. Even though there's a lot of trucks in the heavy class that don't have weight to them, but I think it's going to probably have weight to it because most Azovs do. Um, I mean, even, even the Sprinter, I think, is like over 10 tons US, so... I think it's probably going to have similar power to like a 64131. So I don't know, we'll, we'll see. I think I'm going to be really upset if, if they, if they make it, how do I say this, a slower version of like the 5319 and then just super efficient because then like the 5319 just basically just yeah, I don't know. The reason people use the 5319 is because it has a little bit better performance than this truck here. Because of tires. Ground clearance. So, I don't know. We'll see. I, I, I'm kind of interested to see the balancing of it. wondering here oh do we know when the next season is coming out uh i want to say i think the pts it might be arriving at the end of the month i think Yo, what's up, Storm? Appreciate that lurk, man. Thank you. Hope you're going to have a good weekend. Hope you're having a good Friday, too. Oh, gosh. The clearance. The clearance. Good to see you, by the way, Storm. Hope you've been enjoying Expeditions and enjoying SnowRunner. I see you were streaming SnowRunner last night. It's awesome, man. It's good to see you, as always. Yeah, but yeah, I, I, I truly don't know when the PTS is gonna is gonna come. I, the thing is, I also don't know how how vastly different the teams are on Snowrunner and Expeditions, and if they are like working together or like separate teams. I would probably think they're separate teams. So. So I guess yeah, I don't know. I can probably pull this straight through. I can see it, yeah, probably straight through that gap. I guess it's gonna be late ish spring, early summer. I don't know. Okay, let's put this back on here. Your dad got a 97 on his written IFR test? IFR, like instrument flight flight rules. What's up, Ranger? Welcome in, by the way. Oh, it has an engine. How about that? That's awesome, man. I'm glad to hear that. 97 is huge, especially on an instrument written. It's huge, man. Oh my goodness, I actually flipped it. I actually flipped it. Oh my. That's a pretty steep one, though. I messed up, yeah. 
that is I haven't flipped this truck in it's probably been a couple years to be honest that is actually very surprising do I have a truck in, in the general vicinity I have the act here really? I'll use the Kenworth real quick wow he's almost empty get yourself a Tatcher TA-13 too far Yeah, that's a steep burn. Pretty much most trucks flip there. We do it! No! I think the T813 would have flipped there too. No, I don't now. Oh, it's a rescue? Yeah, it's too much cash. Too much cash to purchase. Oh, I hate you. I hate bringing other other trucks that I have out somewhere else. Yeah, I think it was the slope, the combination of the trailer going as well. It just was a. It's actually not going to be an easy rescue. Just because the incline is going to suck. That's crazy though, man. That is a rare occurrence flipping that truck. Honestly, I'm impressed because it kind of held out there for a second. And like it was like a very slow tip. It what it did just didn't give and go. It took a second. Okay, I can do this. Pretty sure. Yeah, I can do this. Sky engine? What? Oh, there we go. Engine on. There we go. I guarantee the burlack flips this. Let me see if I can actually just pull him through it, and then maybe it won't like interrupt his balance too much. Yeah. Haha. <laughs> Sweet. I'm gonna have to do something. I gotta get this Kenworth out of here. It's a fuel truck. I gotta get him back. Most things happen slowly when you're in an Azov. Yeah, that's so true. Thanks, Trumpet. Appreciate it, man. Just a little bit of spider winching and then turning. Always does the trick. You know what? I probably should just throw on his balloons.
Thanks. You know, I have to say, like usually when I'm when I'm speaking down here, like because I just I just put an office in my basement, right? We kind of we finished our, our basement recently, and it took pretty much over. How do I say this? We moved in in 2022. It's like 2024 now. So yeah, it took a while to finish. Okay, and we finally finished it, and uh, something I've been kind of procrastinating on doing is putting on putting up my. I don't want to call them soundproofing panels because they're not soundproofing. But they're basically like those those foam panelings that, that you see a lot of like streamers have. And I put those up and they have like a certain design I put up on the wall, but they actually help a lot with like not hearing the reverberation or I guess like the echo from from speaking in the room because it when you have more cloth in a room, it absorbs your voice, right? So if you don't have any like cloth or any type of like thick material like cotton material or stuff like that your voice tends to sound like it echoes in a room right but when you fill it up with like furniture and stuff like that it, it doesn't so it, it's just kind of cool I'm actually going to put him like right outside this garage like right here ish there we go yeah kind of like echo panels I guess but yeah I, I finally put him up and it's crazy. I was watching my stream yesterday a little bit and I just, I could, I could very, it, it's funny the things you notice when, uh, when you're actually like recording yourself for like YouTube purposes, things you notice about like your voice and stuff. And I feel like it has helped a lot. I used to have these up in my old room when I lived in Arizona, but it's kind of cool. Like I'll turn on I'll turn on an old video of mine just to kind of like look just to kind of like I'll I'll rewatch my videos just to see how my voice sounds right just because I want things to be like uniform throughout my reviews for voice wise and they haven't been I think like my early videos I think I almost like whispered into the mic probably just out of confidence I was kind of like almost whispering but then I would have to like elevate my voice whenever I post processed it and like now I really don't care. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's really cool just to hear, like you don't have the echo. But yeah, they kind of look cool too. They're kind of like uh, I did. I didn't want to get some other ones, like actual like acoustic paneling, and they almost look like they're how do I say this? Like almost like decorations, but they they essentially are like acoustic paneling to stop like echoing and stuff like that. I thought about getting those, but I don't know because I, I don't know. This room is actually pretty big. Actually, do I turn? Yeah, I do. Right here. Okay, so deliver the burlap. Repair the... What truck is it? Kodiak. What is that patch? Oh, it's just a patch in the road. I think this song right here... That's, that's currently playing is like the song from the title. When season 11 was out, I remember. You know what I'm going to do sometime? I'm going to turn off the music for the certain region I'm on and I'm just going to play I think they have like YouTube channels that have just all the music on like one playlist and I'm just going to turn them on I'm just going to check it out you love the look at this truck trailer combo attachment yeah man I don't the only problem is it's so close that trailer attachment so close is the only thing I'm not a fan of, but 
Alright, so what I'll do is, before we actually go around back, I'm going to do something real quick. Turn his engine off. Turn mine off. Repair. Here we go. Large service trailer. Thanks a bunch. I knew you were swamped with work too, but hopefully make good use of the repair trailer. Yeah, too bad it's already out. <laughs> Alright, now to deliver the burlap. Look how big the burlap is. It is literally bigger than an Azov 64131. Yeah, it kind of looks like a locomotive, yeah. Just massive truck, man. I'm pretty sure it's bigger than the 605R. Hunter's cabin. I'm guessing I'm gonna have to repair and refuel him. I'm guessing. Okay, never mind. Alright, so I guess I'll just take him back to the garage. But I'm gonna haul him back because I need to go do my next mission, which is that scout. I have to deliver that scout, so I'm gonna do the same thing with the Azov here because. Basically, deliver repair. So we'll do that. But let me just get him to a place where I actually can hook up to. Heavy scouts. Or lack belongs in heavy scouts. Well, if there is a class called heavy scout, it probably would go into it. Turning circle, yeah, I know, right? Okay, so where's the where's my six four? There he is. This is the only issue with this. Actually, that's not too bad. Is he gonna flip me over though? Oh, close, close, buddy. Very close. I know, the Lodi is so tiny. The crazy thing is, the Lodi is actually not a very small truck, too. It's just that, that thing just dwarfs it, right? Why are half the telephone poles and the more not winch points? Oh, that's right. I think that's that's a thing. If you could air down the tires, that would just be... Uh, I think air, airing down tires in this game would just be overpowered in general. You essentially just could use highway tires, air them down, have... Mud, mud ratings that are almost the equivalent of like I don't know P5 12 PF with with a, a standard highway tire so like new players playing Michigan all they have to do is just run around in like low plus with diffs on and you just crush the whole place but man if the, the burlap I mean does the, the thing is does the burlap need it oh, he's actually like on my bumper. If 
But I mean, then, then again, it does have studded tires, so. Pretty good to go with that, even though I'm not going to use the burlap on my playthrough. To be honest, we might sell it. <laughs> I don't really have a use for it, to be honest. It's not going to be useful in this region. It's not necessarily useful. in the next one either. In my opinion, but... It is a very amazing scout, though. To, to be quite honest. I could keep it for year four, but I don't even know, like... If I didn't use it in the year four on normal mode, I don't know what I would do with it on hard mode. That's my only thing. What's up, Doc? Welcome in. Yeah, the crazy thing is it actually turns pretty fast. I mean, I don't know, like... Do I need it? That's the thing, is like, do I need it? Like, if this was a more, I mean, maybe. I, mean, I didn't even need it in the more, but who knows? I'm gonna, I might just keep it around. Just I'm not starving for money. You know what I'm saying? There's no reason to really sell it. You need at least one gas guzzler in the fleet. Wait, which one's the gas guzzler? Wait, I do have I, do, I have some gas guzzlers. I have the boar, the bur. Are you serious? <laughs> the the boar is not a gas guzzler. I've made it across all of Erska River. I made it all the way across Erska River to the logging station on like 11 gallons of gas in the burlap. It is highly efficient. Depends on what you compare it to. I, I'm pretty sure it's it's pretty efficient. Do I ever use the telehandler? No. I mean, if you look at the burlap and its range on what it can do with it, I mean, if you're talking strictly like gallons per minute, like lo looking at the gauge, I mean, yeah, then some smaller scouts are going to have better numbers. But if you're looking at the distance it covers, I guarantee you. A tiny scout's gonna run out of gas. Crossing distances faster than that truck wheel. I mean, I can go show you just how crazy that the thing is. I think I think I actually have some some footage on my review to be honest. Oh wait, I'm supposed to go the wrong I'm going the wrong way. No. Okay, never mind. I can just turn around. You just love the telehandler? You used to drive one, really? Oh, if you haul with it? Yeah, if you haul with it. I mean, if you're hauling with it, I don't think it's its consumption gets like crazy. Like I think it gets to like three, maybe four ish gallons per minute. That's not that's not crazy. But I think because it's not good at hauling and it struggles with it. Yeah, then I'm going to agree. I'm absolutely going to agree then. But that's the thing. I don't I wouldn't use that truck as a hauler. But yeah, the telehandler is crazy. Yeah, hauling with it is not fun. <laughs> I don't I don't know. 
It's just not a fun thing. I'm not going through the center here. I know this is just a trap. And the thing is, like, I know, I know there's 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 a lot of folks who say like, oh, well, you can do multiple things with it. Like when you're scouting, you can like pick up trailers. You could, you know, complete missions via, you know, putting cargo on it, open up blockages. That's all true. That's all true. And that's a good argument. It really is. It's just for me personally, like I'm not going to like if I'm going on a scouting mission, like I'm going to strictly scout, right? And if I can do some like type of scouting missions that can be completed along the way, I will in some way, I guess. I didn't know that about the floppiness. I never realized that, but that's actually really good info. You know, I actually kind of like the inside of this truck. This is probably a pretty good first person truck, to be honest. Like pretty big window, not, not, you know what I'm saying? Pretty, pretty good view, like just from sitting here. Doesn't go fast at all though. Oh, oh, I'm, I guess I gotta repair it even more. All right, so who here is enjoying expeditions? Do we got any expeditions enjoyers? Anybody like like the game? Not you? There's got to be some folks. There's got to be crickets. <laughs> wow, man. Most people in chat don't like expeditions. Should I do a poll? You guys think we should do a poll? Because I think maybe some folks are not going to really speak up. Got the game, tried it for a couple hours, refunded. Oh, that's crazy with the winch point thing. Scouting is your least favorite, so why would you want to... Too expensive for you at the moment? Could, uh, I could see, I could see that. I think this is it right here. Yeah. Okay. Let me see if I can actually repair and re refuel him from here. I might be able to. Nope. I got to turn around. Yikes. See if I can do this. Jackknife this a little bit. Can I grab him from here? No. Never mind. Do you have the Scout 800 in Expeditions now? What's up, Mobius? Welcome in. You don't have it, but from what I've seen, there isn't much reason to play it over SnowRunner. Yeah, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do a little quick poll here. You know what? I want that trailer back there. I think that's a mission trailer, though. I want to say it's a mission. Let's repair first. Nice. My alibi fell through, but thanks for your help. What do you, what would I do without you? Okay, cool. Nice. Thank you. All right. We're going to do a poll real quick. Haven't done one of these in a while. 
You wish SnowRunner got the TIS? What's TIS? Whoops. Tire inflation system. I think the tire inflation system, honestly, man, if it came to SnowRunner, it would break the game. I mean, I understand. I really do think it will break the game. If you look at if you look at what it does, it would break the game. Tires essentially wouldn't matter because, like, to be honest, in in expeditions, tires really don't matter. From what from what I've I've discovered, like you honestly can use the bare minimum tire um, in expeditions, and you can crawl over pretty much everything as long as you have your deflation system activated. So like, here's the thing, I talked about this earlier. I'll kind of like talk about this after this ad's over. I see the ad just popped up, so hold on a second. All right. There we go. Get your votes in. I want to know if you guys are playing Expeditions. Okay, let's get back to this. I think so. Yeah, for rock crawling, I think what they could do though is Mobius. They could essentially just, maybe there's some way they could increase the grip of, of tires on rock surfaces, perhaps. I don't know. Is this a free truck? Is this a free one? I don't think this is free. I want to check this out. The lost trailers? No. No. That's not it. Okay, so... Okay, I guess I'm gonna pull this out of here. Uh, yeah, I guess I just pull this out of here and pull it like the centralized. Yeah, I guess, yeah. I guess I just don't leave it here. Okay, you guys have like 30 seconds. Get your votes in. I only have nine votes. You have 65 folks watching. What is going on? 11 votes. Get your votes in, 12 votes. Man, look guys, don't follow the crowd if you guys are playing it. Okay, so 100% of you guys said no. You guys are not playing it. I think I definitely think trucks should have better grip on on asphalt and, and rocks. I absolutely agree though. I just think like with with the multiplier of like mud friction when it comes with it. I mean, you you essentially turn a, a highway tire into like an overpowered off-road tire like within a couple seconds. Yikes. Stuff is heavy. Honestly, like expeditions, it was fun. There were I, I did have some fun with it. I'm not going to lie. Um, it, it's just something I think I just didn't get really excited about. Do you know what I mean? I mean, maybe I'm getting a little bit too long in the tooth, like with, with like the snow runner, I guess, or with snow runner that maybe I was just, maybe I was, how does this, I don't know how much I was expecting to be honest, but yeah, I mean, it's definitely a good game. I think it's. I think it honestly has a, some good difficulty to it. I think it's. It's focused more on your vehicle balance, and I think that's a much better way to go for an off-roading game than, than just uh, mud surfaces.
Yeah, I, I know that one you're talking about. It's on the west side of Black Badger Lake, Eric. Yep, I know that one. I know that one very well. It's terrible. You, you feel like you're slipping around. And uh, yeah, I, I, I know exactly what you're talking about, my man. I know it. As an add-on in SnowRunner, it would have been fantastic. Yeah, I, that's a, that was kind of like my gripe is I just I'm I'm a fan of hauling cargo. I think the uh, the ability to impact like civilizations, like I feel like I'm accomplishing something right now, right? I mean, like let's be real, like the the storyline for this region is not necessarily like fascinating because they're just creating a, mo a movie, but like other things, right? Like you're kind of help. Like usually, like what happens is like you're usually helping someone. Like a flood happened or um, an earthquake happened, and you're just rebuilding a civilization. So you feel as though you're like you're helping them, and you see things going up, right? In expeditions, like yeah, you still are doing like you're doing like exploratory, like archaeological finds and digs and stuff like that. But I don't know, man. I think for like the spin tires series, like having the mini games. I don't know how much I'm, I'm enjoying like the little mini games that are associated with like whenever you get to a location. I can't say I'm, I'm like too into that because like at that point it, it, it kind of feels like I'm, I'm not playing Snow Runner or I'm not playing like a Mud Runner game. It, it feels like it's it's kind of tailored to a younger crowd maybe, and that's okay. Maybe like the younger younger crowd is what they want to reach. Maybe it's the target audience. We don't know this. Like, this is all stuff, like, we don't know. Because the thing is, like, targeting targeting the younger audience is actually, like, a pretty good thing to do, to be honest, like, from a marketing standpoint, because a lot of young people play video games, right? And it's, it's pretty much objective truth that a lot of older folks don't have as much time to, right? But, you know competing with games like Fortnite and all these games that like really young folks like to play. I mean, I can see from from like wanting to reach a broader crowd. I think there's a there's some uh, some patches coming out for that game too, so there could be, it could, honestly, it could turn out to be a lot better than it is, but I think generally just the overall, just overall, it's just not really my, my type. You like the different paint jobs that are not just flat colors? Okay, so... I think this is where I, I hold that up there. Now we jump back in our yes, one one four SD. Shoring up losses. I'm not gonna do that right now. We work. I'm not gonna do that right now. Eastern blockage. I probably should. Um, deliver to the middle lift. I probably could do this. Um, look what we can do. I probably could do this now. The only problem is I don't have a lot of gas. At this current location. <laughs> so I, I probably need to. Go get gas first. Okay, so what I'm thinking is actually is I take my 114 SD, I get him up here, fill up, I go down and grab the tat, the, what's it called? The yar. I pull the yar to this location, 
go back up, get gas, come back down, grab look what I can do, finish look what I can do, come back down, and then start busting these these things up here. Truck is a beast. What's up, Snowy? Welcome in. Yeah, man. The the W990 is is good. It got a good upgrade. It got very good upgrade with the... Uh, Can I make it in 34 gallons? We're going to try it out. Actually, I might want to pop some more fuel into him. Yeah, I think I can make it down with 32 with this. It's pretty efficient. But yeah, with its tire codes getting upgraded. Yeah, the W990 is pretty crazy right now. Sir, you're not flipping me over today. Not today. What's my opinion on the Fleet Star? Oh, I love it. I think it's a great truck, man. I think it's, it's really good. I think uh, after you... I think, depending on your driver experience, I think the appreciation of that truck scales with driver experience, if that makes sense. I think folks that, that jump into the game right away, they, uh, they probably feel it's not that good just because they're, they're not really accustomed to understanding how to control it, essentially. But I think once you have a good grasp on how to control a truck, you, your appreciation for that truck actually rises. I think it's great. For low saddle pulling, probably not. Just because it's frame length and the collision with the frame length hitting the, the sideboard bed. But other than that, man, yeah, I love it. I didn't really appreciate the load star, or not, I mean, the fleet star, I mean. Um, Probably until like after like eight months of playing. Just kind of sad. What's up, Jelly Bean? Welcome in. Okay, we gotta make it to the top. Get some gas. Oh. I think it's a King of Smithfield dam as well. You, honestly, you might be right. You might be right because, I mean, you do get the, the White Western Star in Smithville, but you don't get it fully upgraded. You do get it in a pretty good state, though. You don't have a diff lock with the, uh, the White Western in Smithville. So that's kind of like the only thing you're missing. The, the engine sound is pretty sweet too. It's, it's actually rather efficient. Honestly, it's just a good truck, man. I mean, if you go back to my randomizer playthrough, I mean, we, we crushed, I completed all of Michigan on highway tires and Black River, completed all of Black River pretty much with the Fleet Star on highway tires without all wheel drive. So just, I think, after after that, there was just a newfound respect. Yeah, no all-wheel drive, just diff lock. Diff lock and weight on wheels. 
it's just it's it was just incredible what it could do and these climbs are crazy though You know, I think after year four, if I do anything, like any other like new playthrough, if there, if there ever comes about a point that the randomizer actually gets updated, like if the if the state of the game is not getting any more up updates where it, it doesn't mess it up, I could do another randomizer, and that would probably be my last SnowRunner playthrough, which would be like a, a just epic. that off I need to save some gas here the dairy doesn't like this climb the special one the dairy special yeah they're just not driving it right I think that that's actually another thing with a lot of trucks in this game people they they talk about i mean there's a lot of there's a lot of trucks i feel like people just are not giving a shot because they're just not allowing they're not putting setting the truck up to to maximize its performance the non all-wheel drive trucks tire inflation system ooh maybe you're onto something there ranger i probably could go for that one I probably could go for that one. Okay, I don't know if I can put the yar inside this bed. I don't know if I'm even going to take the bed down there and attempt to put the yar in the bed. I might leave the actually leave this trailer here. Go get the yar. And then pick up my bed and then take the yar. Let's see here. Hold on a second. But the yar actually goes to here. So that might not be an option. I mean, actually, it could be an option because Tracy facing. Yeah, that is that is actually the move. We're going to do that. I'll deliver him and I'll just come back and get my, my trailer. Or I'll at least get him to the location. We'll figure it out. Let's go here, here, here. This is all sloping downhill like crazy too. What's up Dan Lot, welcome in. Finally getting used to the controls on SnowRunner again. It's crazy. It's thick up here, man. This area is thick. Anything is possible with enough, enough ratchet straps? Yeah. What's up, Larpup? Welcome in, man. It's going good, man. We are uh, hacking away at the tasks right now. Where are we at? 22%. What's up, District? Welcome in as well. Your straps are duct tape. That's funny. I think what they called that in the Air Force, like on the aviation side, they called that speed tape. They would say, oh, well, we'll just we'll just speed tape it. It'll be good. Which is basically just duct tape. driving home from work tonight and I'm thinking man some snow runner would be good right now get home and fire up war thunder nice also a good game 100 mile an hour tape yeah
You're at 88% on season 12. Nice, dude. Season 12 does, it kind of drags out a little bit at the end. Have you been get, having that get done-itis where you just want to get done? <laughs> I definitely know I have. I got there. I had that. Any trucks from the Air Force I'd like to see? Probably not. I think I've seen... Uh, I don't know, like maybe... The thing is, man... I mean like the Hemets and stuff like that. Or what's it called? The uh, like the LMTVs? Perhaps, but like... Not really. I mean, yeah, maybe not really though. Because like... They would essentially, like, realistically, they're not... They're just for hauling like... Small par small cargos and, and personnel, right? So, I think they would have to essentially like throw a bunch of add-ons on them, and I'm not really a fan of just unrealistically throwing add-ons on trucks. I guess if that makes sense. You love the region. I'm not sure I want to do after finishing expeditions or something else. Yeah, there you go. had to get done itis toward the end of Ontario yep oh yes water back and forth definitely influences that I absolutely agree okay so I guess we'll just take him I'm gonna take him back up because I need to get my wait no I might just take him there I might just take him there and then go get my trailer because I'm going a different way. But if I find a shortcut, if I find the shortcut, I might just like dive through here and then take him down or like dive through here, go around this way. Maybe I'll pick up this trailer. Hmm. It's actually a kind of a, a good idea. Let's see if we can... Let's look at it. We'll look at it. Of course, it's nighttime. Mm, you know what? I probably could go down through here. Let's do it. Oh, well, the descent is so much better than the ascent. Try to get up on this rock. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's do it. Okay. Um, I might go get this this bed. Hold on. Let's let's just check this out for a second. I might as well just grab this. Yeah, I'll just bring him here. Right, left by the edge. Where's left by the edge? I know there's cargo on here I can probably use for other things, so yeah. Yeah, going up, I went up with the Lodestar with two trailers attached and it wasn't good. How are you liking expansions? Oh, dis oh, you're actually in district, sorry. That's good, I'm glad you're enjoying it, man. It's good to hear. Whoa, all right, whatever. He's, he's on his wheels. We're good to go. Alright, what's that? A medium plank? And a, okay. I mean, I'm going to use these. continue this way because uh that's where I want to go something like this pull him a little bit as I turn out of here all 
Oh, this is going to be interesting. Very interesting. I have to try to take this out wide now because he's going to want to hit that tree. What's up, Torpedo? Welcome in, man. Good to see you. Just get past the tree. Get past the tree. Thank you. District, have you uh, rescued the Collie Pug yet? Or did you switch over to uh, Carpathian? Does he have an engine? This could help. This could help tremendously. Yes, there we go. Yeah, welcome in everyone. Happy Friday. Good morning, good afternoon. Everyone's stopping in. It's good to see y'all. We are just having a good old time here, cracking away. It's season 11. It's actually been pretty fun. It's crazy, man. It's crazy the hard mode is caught up, almost caught up to the normal mode. It's actually kind of kind of really wild. I never thought I would uh, actually catch up. So it's actually really a good feeling. <laughs> Wait, did you get your tickets? To what? The gun show. The gun show. Um, this is the zone. Yeah. What is this, man? What is this for? I might take this cargo out of here and delete that trailer. It's caught up, as in I've completed season 12 on normal mode, and I'm up to season 11 here on hard mode. So, yeah. Because I've been kind of working pretty diligently on catching up hard mode to what's current. It's cement. Yeah, it's cement. I'm not sure if I even want to use it. Let me see if I need it for anything. I think I do. No, that's consumables. Concrete slabs. Here's cement. That's by the lake, though. Not that. No. 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 Goes up higher the hill. Does it really? I th oh, you think you're right, Jelly. It's definitely not these, though. Cellulose. Yeah, I guess I'll just leave them. I guess I'll just leave them, yeah. But I'm going to be right back, guys. I'm going to go to the restroom. I'm going to grab some more coffee per use. And uh, we will be right back. So, yeah. Hang in there.
All right, we're back. So, Dirt, you asked uh, after catching up, you could jump into season 13 for hard mode first. The thing is, I could. The only problem is, here's the only issue, is for testing purposes, it's not optimal because I make videos on trucks. So I would just be like wasting a ton of cash, recovering my truck back to the garage, getting trailers, go getting cargo. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that, that part would be just terrible because <laughs> I would just run myself out of gas, out of, out of money, you know, doing testing and then recording and stuff like that. So honestly, if I didn't make, if I didn't make content and I just played like streaming, I probably would, man. I think that'd be a very fun thing to do. I'd be down. I know there's a lot of people that actually just do play straight up hard mode, like when the new content comes out. And I actually am I'm a little bit jealous in some way, but uh, okay, back to the top of the hill. I'm gonna go up, transfer this to my sideboard. I'm gonna come down and grab this CK. And then after that, wait, look at this. After that, bring him back to here. And then that's when we start breaking up these passages. Yeah, I, I like that. I actually think that's cool just to straight up do hard mode only. It definitely is a, a much different perspective, I guess. I don't know. What do you think, man? Like, do you think you play hard mode like, like normal now? Actually, what is that? What is that path here? Oh, that's nothing. Never mind. Because I don't know. You have so much money, or do you still feel the hard mode kind of uh, keeps you on your toes? What's up, Daniels? Welcome in. solves the early progression problem a bit. Yeah, it does. Yeah. I think it does. Yeah. I think if you're, if you're playing hard mode in order, I'm going to say, yeah, it does. It solves that. It solves the progression thing. It's like hard mode in the beginning really does feel like old 2020, like first release, April 26th or 28th of 2020 release of SnowRunner, right? Back when it felt like it was really hard, like no one really f understood the game. I'm not, I wouldn't say it's all about the, I wouldn't say it's all about the, like the knowledge of it, but I don't know. It just felt harder at that point. And now hard mode, because there was like no DLCs, right? Unless you had Navistar or Con Marshall, and if you knew the car Marshall was OP back then, yeah, then you kind of got you got had that exploit. But what did you say? Do so you have to say you? I am also rock carling. What did you say, District? I have to say the controls are slightly. These improvements they stated changes will come. Wait, did you answer that? I asked you if you rescued the collie. Did you answer that? Oh, not yet. Okay, so you didn't. Okay, I see. Sorry about that. You want to play hard mode, but I really, really don't want to play through Michigan again. <laughs> First time playing, my first time playing hard mode, everything after Tamir I'd played before was fun. Nice. In your current, you basically just play NA trucks, NA trucks on NA maps and vice versa while also trying to, to be efficient than my playthroughs before. So far it's a success, nice.
Okay, so hey man, my first time playing hard mode, everything after Tamir, I'd never played before. Okay. Just read that wrong, my bad. Guys played through Michigan like four times. Oh yeah. Yeah, I understand that. <clears throat> I probably have played through it probably similar. Probably four times, honestly. I literally had a playthrough where I my brother started playing, so we played partially through it. Um I had another friend who started, played partially through it. Yeah. Hard mode means you essentially pay for everything. You're, yeah, you essentially you're paying for almost everything. I, th I would, I would think. There's some other other things as well, like. But essentially, that's that's what it is. Michigan isn't so bad. Cola Peninsula must be painful. Ah, uh, I don't think coal is that bad. But that's just me. I think once you learn once you learn the routing. And Cola actually has a good bit of free fuel in it too, especially in Mandra. Oh man, this this climb, this stuff is thick. I think hard mode, the difference is felt early on. I think after after you acquire a lot of cash and you have a solid fleet of trucks, it basically becomes a balance of whether or not you want to stick your, how do I say this, dabble your hands into purchasing, you know, a truck that you want to drive or, or not, you know what I'm saying? At some point it just, it, it does feel like it's normal mode. No, not not necessarily. I mean, to be honest, man, if if you if you running if you're running the contest five times, you're not gonna run out of cash. I really think there is a spot you could actually have game over, and that that is true. You're absolutely right, but I don't think it's too. I don't know. I think you really have to mess up really bad for that to happen. I don't know why I'm keeping this me medium plank, but I am. It really was touching, really needed to help the rest of the fleet. Yeah. Yeah, logging in Yukon was tough. That's for sure, dirt. I agree. Oh, dude, whatever. You know what? Whatever. Yep, I just did that. Haha, <laughs> gotcha. You did all of the Yukon logging with NA trucks? Nice. Yeah, once you get diff lock, and once you throw some weight on top of your wheels, um, yeah, it just changes. But the thing is, man, not a lot of people understand that principle. I think even still today, I really think there's a small amount of people that understand like the power of of diff lock and weight on wheels. And I think, uh, yeah, there, there I, I guarantee you, there's probably ninety. 90 at least 90 percent maybe actually maybe not there's probably like i'm gonna say 60 percent of, of of the snow runner community that, that play the game that don't really understand like how important it is 
I think if they did, they, there would be a, lot, a vast change in, in things they use. You still haven't finished up Yukon? There's a lot of logging. Oh, a lot of long, long hauling. Yeah, that's for sure. There's a lot of cargo. 745C, the NF, 1424 for most of it. Nice. Biggest problem is not knowing easy routes. Yeah. That does hurt the fun. Yes, that does hurt the fun. I mean, I just tell people, man, like, when in doubt, diff lock. I almost want to just, like, make a video of of crucial things you need to understand about dri just driving, period, when starting. But the thing is, like, it's four years in. Like, that stuff is not even, doesn't really even matter. So... I think if it was like 2020, yeah, yeah, that'd be a good, a good option. Yeah, I'm gonna turn down in toward him actually. Actually, let's go this way. Let's get this weight on this side uphill. photo of this. It's actually a really good photo. Not that angle though. You wish it still mattered? Yeah. You think Saber was trolling players when they gave a step deck on Pine Line Bay? Just discovered how to get a flatbed semi trailer. Guess what's being done first? Uh, what do you mean by that? Can you elaborate? Oh man, I'm just trying to put this on top. You know what? I almost want to just put you like this, dude. Can I pack you on there? <laughs> I almost want to just leave him. Are you serious right now? I almost want to move all this cargo back. That's what I might just what I should have done, honestly, just like this. That's what I should have done first, honestly. Just push all this stuff back. On flatlands. Do you think that Saber was basically telling people to use this trailer or to use a sideboard or a si uh, what's it called a, uh, a flatbed semi? Okay, 
Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh yeah. Okay, let's go. Yes, it does. Yeah, when you sell it and rebuy it, it does have a full repair. Yeah. It just doesn't have fuel, except for some DLC trucks actually get fuel from it, though. Dirt, I think. Right? I'm pretty sure. So they knew people would go, oh, free trailer, not realize the step deck was, was going to bottom out on everything. Oh, yeah, that is true. Depending on what truck you use, yeah. Depending on what truck, yeah, it, it would kind of bottom out there. Yeah, that's true. Even though, I don't know. Step that can be pretty sweet though. Especially with putting the fuel the scout fuel chair the scout fuel carrier or the scout fuel trailer on top. Yeah, your range is just insane. Just run the mission nonstop. Sometimes I do it when I'm just so lazy and I don't want to set up my fuel stops. Are you the only one that loves the step deck? I do think it's a good, a good, uh, a good trailer. I do like it. Mm, does this get stuck? Do you get stuck here? Control me here? No, you don't. Yeah, I do like it. I usually use it when, I mean, I used it a lot on season 12, to be honest. Just because of, uh, yeah, I'm just not wanting to take different trucks out to, to set up the fuel stops. I gotta say though, I'm gonna be real, the step, the step in this game is so much better than the step in, in Expeditions. But, uh, wait, hold on. I can't really say that because they're two different games. They're two different games. Also, the step there doesn't have the max. I didn't have the max engine, but I don't think in that game you're not hauling cargo, so it doesn't really matter. So, actually, the step is pretty good in the other game. I actually really enjoyed it. I enjoyed the Action a lot, too, actually. The gooseneck? Oh. The gooseneck is terrible. They, no, you know what they did? They trolled people. They trolled people so bad with the, uh, the 770G trailer. Seriously, they, they definitely, oh, I didn't want to do that, but okay. Just tell my boss, okay, this is my first job as a stunt driver, okay. Okay, so down to the bottom now. But yeah, man, I mean, I remember hearing, seeing posts about people, about um, just having issues. Wet work. Did I pick up wet work? Yeah, I did. Cellulose. Where's cellulose at? Oh, it's all down here. Wait, no, it's not. Is it? Oh, it is, yeah. Okay, I'll worry about that later. But yeah, man, there was a lot of posts about the... Uh, wooden planks, wooden planks. Wooden medium. I might actually just drop my other mediums here. I need four. I think I need... Wait. Does Eastern need four? Oh, wow. Four there. Western needs two. Okay, so I need six total. Okay. Copy that. 
But yeah, there was a lot of people that were genuinely, uh, I don't want to say upset, but they were like, what truck do I use to pull the 770G trailer? Like, You felt like some trucks, like the P512PF contracts, 51 inch tires are not tall enough to stop bottoming out. I don't know, I didn't really have much of an issue, honestly, with the step deck. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, there was, I, I mean, I did, I did notice I did get caught up sometimes, but it wasn't like I was... I don't think it straight up hindered me to the point that I wasn't going to use it. I definitely noted that I would rather have this, but also this as well. Like this hitbox comes down here. Like it's like actually like right here. It's it's not exactly where this rail is. It's it's a little bit above. But this does have that hitbox that's here. And then of course you have these, right? So I mean like. You do have some. I love using the heavy trailer for the drill bit. Smithville, the Black River. Legs hooked to everything. Oh yeah. I remember that. But yeah, I honestly thought season season 12 starting out with that 770G haul was, was a good one. I thought that was a really good one. Like, literally, like, setting the tone. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, there was a lot of big, big, like, mission trailer hauls. I thought that was great. Um, especially toward the end. I'm, I believe our last, literally the last episode, I I set it up to where I think we hauled, like, three, three or four special mission trailers. That was just boom, boom, boom. So, what's up, Gamer Shane? Thank you for that raid, man. Welcome in, guys. Hitbox is level with the jacks. It's level with the jacks. Okay, yeah. So then, yeah, I'm right. So it's, it's like right above. So yeah, it's essentially like right above. Or a little bit above where I was saying. Maybe two times. So maybe two times it got your back bumper hooked you up and oh yeah. You talking about the seven seven zero G? Yo, Marine eleven. Thank you for that raid, man. Welcome in. Happy Friday. What were you guys playing? Shane and Marine, what were you guys playing? Raiders, welcome in. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday. Cooking nice. It's going good, man. Just uh, plowing through some hard mode. Plowing through some hard mode. How was your stream? I'm gonna sip some coffee while I drive here. Good man. I take it you guys were playing SnowRunner? SnowRunner or Expeditions? One of the two. Yo, Capalot, thank you for that follow. 
Yo, good morning, Chain. Thank you for that, uh, that raid, my man. That's good, Jelly Beans. You only had a couple issues. That's good, man. That's good to hear. Winched the met. Oh yeah. Okay. I see what you're saying. The scout trailer's being winched, going mental and spinning. Yeah. Wait. What's so narrow? This trailer is narrow. I need to turn off all-wheel drive. I'm just burning gas for no need. What am I doing here? Rookie. And I'm about to run out of gas, too. I need to get back. Better hurry up here. I think the legs on the off-road scouts I don't like? Oh, yeah. That's right. I, don't, I haven't even really messed with the off-road scout trailers, honestly. Hmm. Oh, I hate this part. I just want to do it. Okay, whatever. There's the legs. Oh, it'd be great if I had. Let's see if I can just like get myself down. There we go. No. No. Okay, you know what? I guess I'm going this way then. I should have went this way anyways, but <laughs> I wanted to save gas. Thought I had an exploit. You had crashes with the 681, showing mini crane. Hmm, that's weird. That is odd. Okay, I need to save some gas. So we'll just roll diff lock here. Diff lock only. This is the step, yes. Get back up. The mini plank bridge. Oh, I know. Oh, you're talking about the make a bridge there could oh dude I'm gonna run out of gas I got three I need six do I even have any fuel around here I need to probably get back ASAP um does this have wooden planks too um, I guess I'm not going to run there first. So there's one there. Uh, hello. Okay. It's because those are taken to there. I have three. Yeah. Let's 
So like this. Unpack. Pull this out. Really, dude? It's five. I need six, so... I know where the other one is, so we'll go there real quick and see if I can make it back. The maintenance trailer? No, the maintenance trailer I moved. I moved it. Probably should have kicked off all-wheel drive for that. That's fine. I'm going to run out of gas. Oh, there's a step deck. Okay, I think it's this one right here. cheating again. <laughs> Gotta make it back. This is what happens when you forget the refuel in town. Oh, it'll stay. It'll stay. As long as I have the crane pin it down, it'll stay. Just diff lock to avoid the all-wheel drive penalty here while we cross this little bit. Hopefully I'll bust myself up. All right, eight gallons. Let's see if I can get back. I'm not taking any hills. Stack it on the trailer. I could, but I'm also going to run into some stuff here. Oh, dude, this is not good. This is where I probably run out, run out of fuel, I'm guessing. Really? What am I stuck on? Am I stuttering now? I don't think I'm gonna make it. Yeah, I don't think I'm making it. No, there's no way. There's no way. No way. Close, but no way. Still eating up way too much fuel in auto. 2.9 gallons per minute. It's dying out. You can just tell it's dying out. Yep, there it goes. Yep, there you are. It's dying, it's dying.
That's true, but I am on pavement, though. Oh, if I only would have had, like... <laughs> I can see it stuttering. Wow, four gallons a minute? That's it. I almost made it back to the garage. Almost. There it is. Not far. Just across the bridge. Dude, I haven't. Honestly, I don't. I can't even tell you if I've run out of gas in hard mode ever. That might be the first time. That really might be the first time. Do I realize wooden planks way more unpacked? Do they? Let's cross check this. They do for sure? Are you serious? Actually, I know where this is at. Yeah, they do. Unpacked, unpacked. They weigh. That's crazy. Packed, un unpacked. They weigh. I mean, this is this is not much at all, though. I don't think this would have made a difference. Maybe a tiny bit. Honestly, maybe. Who knows? Because we're on pavement. It could have. I mean, who knows? It could have. It could have been the, the small difference maker. That is crazy, though. It doesn't make sense at all. <laughs> it doesn't make sense at all. Yeah, I never really paid attention too much to too much to the cargo weights. I think I, I I memorized a couple, but not definitely not wooden planks of all things. So that's kind of interesting to see. Very interesting, very very interesting. Okay, let's put back this, this fuel truck here. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. Oh, so it's not stupidly easy to, to lift with the crane. That might be it. That might be why, actually. That could be the reason. I mean, they're definitely not hard to lift with the crane anyways, but that could be a reason why. All right, Western Bridge. Is the fuel add-on heavier than the fire tank? I th think it is. The fuel add-on actually is, the regular fuel add-on is like 12 metric tons. I, I believe that's one of the heavier, one of the heavier add-ons in the game. I think, I wanna say the L LKNY crane might be the heaviest for the water tanks. Wait. Custom water tank or 
custom fire tank or like regular regular i think is just the same filled if it's filled i believe the truck mounted one so wait the the fire tank like the generic one like this the one that's the same as the the same but different paint job as the uh, fuel carrier Why can I not? No, they're this. They're, they're probably the same weights. I'm pretty sure they're just the reskin. I can actually look this up again. Actually, we can take a look if you want to take a look. Actually, add on Supergirl. Wait, I don't know if this shows the. I don't think this shows the add on weights. No, I don't think this shows the add on weights. No, it doesn't show the add on weights, but I think. this up though it should be but it's not it should be but it's not here all right so do this. Wow. Okay. Um. Fuel carrier, maintenance trailer. This is not, this is not it. This is not it. Uh, add on weights. I don't think. Where did I find this before? tanks US crane is heavier what's it called yeah um so the big crane is 26.6 metric tons so the tanks the fuel tank oh and the large fuel tank so 12 yeah it's 12.6 metric tons the fire no the water tanks are not not that heavy actually so yeah for normal the smaller trucks yeah that's, these are that's super heavy i should say do your own research you know what sometimes i do really want to say that <laughs> but there's a i'm a nice guy What's up, Solo? Welcome in. All right, one blockage.
Make sure to check as agreed. Nice. Next. Is there any site that has cargo weights? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, I think if you go to the pinned comments on the, I think it's the PTS discussion. I think that I think someone's made a spreadsheet on it, honestly, and it's updated. I wonder if Vlad's Vlad sheets updated. I know. I think McKillum's is still updated. That trailer drift life, yeah. No, you don't. Just stay away from Reddit. Don't don't worry about Reddit. <laughs> you don't wanna. You don't wanna even start there. Reddit is is not the good place to go. Even though it can be for some things. What's up, Steve? Welcome in. There's a lot of trolls on Reddit. Hey man, thank you for saying, stopping in and saying hi, Solo. I appreciate it, man. Hope you have a great day at work. Vlad redirects for Reddit for add-on weights? Okay, so he doesn't do that on his sheet then? Yeah, I would say there's a lot of, I don't know, man. <laughs> there's a lot of uh, different... I don't know. Opinions on uh, on Reddit. I'm just gonna say that. White work cellulose. Do I have my Western Star down here anywhere? Where's my Where's my Western Star at? I might use him real quick. Do wet work real real quick. Real quick you know what I'm saying? All right, cool. Um, let's see. I know one of them is like, there's one. I think the other one's like down farther. There's two. The other is like in here-ish. Three, okay. All right, cool. It's like right in here-ish. Where did I see that? Whatever, it's down here. I'll grab it. One second, you'll have a phone call.
Okay, we're back. What is going on? What's up, Dave? Welcome in. If you're on a part of Reddit where you think all, all of Reddit is a bad part of Reddit, Reddit is, the whole is really, depending on what you're looking for, yeah. I think, I would say it all depends, if that makes sense. All right. Let's go do this. They blocked third party apps. I mean, I do. How do I say this? I, I will go on Reddit and just read read things that people post. I definitely will. It's interesting to hear what people say, but just try not to get uh how do I say this? I, I try to I I refrain myself from I should have just went down the path. I restrain myself from uh, from actually engaging in conversation, actually. Oh, using the official. Okay, I gotcha. It's all right. It blocks the link anyways. It's all right. No worries, man. Every day at 12 a.m. I get a random post from Reddit. Must have been something you subbed too long ago. Yeah, I, I kind of get... Sometimes I'll get messages from Reddit about like SnowRunner posts. And uh, yeah. I'll read them and then, you know, just looking at the comments and stuff, it's... Some are really good comments, actually. There's actually some some really good ones. Some, maybe not so much. I feel like I should have went the other way, but it's fine. climb right up this thing. Who needs tire inflation? Look at that. Who needs tire deflation? I mean, look at this. Western star hero. The winner Western star. Uh, I think I go on this route here. I think I go this way. Where's it at? There's one. There's two. All right, cool. That's true. That's a good take, actually. It's kind of like everything, right? Yeah, that's a good take. I can agree with that. Oh, no. The con tests. And I cannot wait till April 20, I think it's like April 26th or 24th when the release of Manor Lords comes out. Dude, I'm going to be smashing my face against that game. Maybe not. I don't know. It depends on how much time I have, but that is what I am so excited for.
Facebook Marketplace? I've never used Facebook Marketplace. Your friends have been dying to play Manor Lords? I want to play it so bad. I really want to get my hands on a uh, a demo, but there's no way. Like, they, they took the demo out. What? Smashing my face against Manor Lords? <laughs> You mean like lit like a literal sense? No, you're fine, Daniel. You're fine, man. You're fine, dude. Mobius made a really good point, though. That's kind of like the inter internet in a in a nutshell. You know the the phrase the phrase in a nutshell. You know what it reminds me of uh, Austin Powers. Hey, look, I'm in a nutshell. I've seen Kingmaker. Yeah. I've seen it, yeah. I kind of seen it. Well, yeah, but the thing is, like, with the modern thing, like the, I think it looked good until I saw a car driving through a bunch of troops, and after that, it just lost me. I mean, if you, if that's if that's your cup of tea, that's that's awesome. Just not. That's not for me. I'm not about. I was like, man, this looks great, and then all of a sudden, like, I see a car driving through, some. <laughs> some people and I was like, yeah, I'm passing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what was that one game? I forget what it's called. Banner Lord. I think it's called Banner Lord, where you basically start out as like a, um, a commoner. Kind of like, I forget. I didn't really look into it a lot, but Yeah, it's like my that cool like mindless fun, yeah. No. And now in now day and age, no, they could never be made. Those 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 movies, like they would never allow the, the any way to make movies like that again. Or like even the office, man. They would never allow a show like The Office to ever to ever be a thing again. Dude, we're about to be done with all the tasks. Unless there's some that spawn. Perhaps. What does this look like? I just feel like I'm, I'm hauling bricks. Working through Tamer, not looking forward to rolling up all the contests though. Yeah. Those are not my favorite. Contests in general are not my favorite. I don't think so, Mobius. No. You just don't do the contest? That's fair. Yeah, I, honestly, everything seems to to be all right on my end. Uh, where's that path? Here it is. There it is, right here. 
I think just the sake of saying that I have 100%, I do the contests. That is the only reason. Some contests are pretty challenging now, I gotta admit. They are, you're right. Thanks to you, we won't be giving up. We won't have to give up on this job, you're the best. Thank you. Yo, Ed, thank you for that follow. Welcome in. Uh, where's this go? To the ski lodge? Tell me it doesn't go all the way up to the top. Okay, there. Yikes, dude. That's all over there. Okay, that's not bad. I can actually get there pretty quick. I'll just use this. Wait, do I have anything in the area? Kenworth, Burlack. I do have this. Okay, never mind. I, I don't have to. I can use a steppy step. Honestly, you're right. Some are very well paid. To be honest, like Fuel 8 in a more, you literally can do that in two minutes time. And it takes you roughly two, two to three minutes to like get back to restart. And you make like 9,000 plus cash. It's, I think it's well worth it to be honest. That's it, huh? Okay. But, I mean, there's very few that I've, I've spammed. I think the course of three, it was three times at first, and I think now they increased it to five times, but I mean, to be honest, I think it kind of depletes the, uh, the difficulty of hard mode when you allow someone to spam things. I think, because I'm pretty sure if, if, you, if you crunch the numbers, the amount of money you can get from hard mode just from spamming contests is is quite incredible. The worst contest you saw was on Glades? Yeah, I'm talking about contests to farm money. The ice contest in Ursa is also pretty good. Should have set up another truck. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the ones in Black River definitely do. A better way to balance in contests is to give a certain amount of tries and you can pick when to stop and get reward for the best result. So like what I think is, um, here I can, I can kind of like, okay, so here, here's, here's like my breakdown of what I think they should do with these. Um, you should get three tries. Okay. Cause there's three places, right? And the, the bet, how do I say this? The most you could get from this total. Okay, you only get paid out one time at a maximum of 3,000. Okay, so let's say the first time you got, um, let's say silver, right? You got paid this out, okay? You got paid this out. The next time, so let's say you got gold. You get paid the difference of these two numbers max at a maximum of 3,000. And after that, it's it, boom, done. So you get three tries. If you get it the first time, that's it. But like, I really do think that would balance hard mode. It would make it even, I don't know, harder to gain cash. Maybe give people the sense of there's more difficulty. So I don't know. Because that would be the only way I think spamming contest is, uh, is worth it. Yeah, the best way to farm money is co-op. But honestly, if 
you're playing normal mode and, and you need to farm, I don't know, man. Because, <laughs> I mean, my normal mode is sitting around like 2 million and I buy everything. I have one of each truck, I have everything. There's no really reason to, to worry about cash ever. Okay, let's go hook up to this. Yeah, if you play efficiently, you never run out of money, yeah. If honestly, if you just take care of your fuel, you yeah, you never really have to run or spam contests. You just run run them to completion. Don't you dare tip over, you little Infinite tries, but maximize the payout. You can only manage... If you can only manage bronze, you get bronze payout once. If you manage silver, you get the difference between bronze and silver and so on. Yeah, that's exactly what I said, yeah. Repeated placings don't offer any prize money. Yep, that's what I think should happen. I did spam a little on hard mode too, Derek. I just... I did too. There was a couple I did feel that were worthy of, of spamming. And I think Fuel 8 was one of them. Oh yeah, that's true. You can get free fuel that way. I don't necessarily do that. Honestly, I've never found a reason to do that, though. Actually, did, did they fix that? They might have actually patched that for hard mode. Who knows? Yeah, but I don't, honestly, I've never had a, I've never had a reason to. I mean, I literally have ten fuel trucks right now going into season eleven, so I don't. Need, I'm not struck for cash. I'm not struck for money. I mean, even if I didn't have one single fuel truck, I'd probably spend fifty k on fuel for this region, and that's pretty much it. I mean, a semi tanker costs around like what seventy five to seventy seven hundred to fill in most areas semi tanker is like i probably need like maybe four on a map like this if i if i place them right and that would last me pretty much the whole way throughout and then i'd probably have leftovers so yeah i mean think about spamming spamming fuel 8 on cosmodrome it gives you like 9300 cash in two minutes try which yeah i mean that's literally five semi tankers of fuel okay um i need to like stop this drop this what's up alderar welcome in i am alive i am alive and well Yeah. Nice. The thing I dislike most about the contest is the bronze, silver, gold rating and me being stressed because it would eat me alive not having gold at it. Yeah. I think on normal mode, I definitely want gold, but on hard mode, I don't really care. The scout trailer to the top of the nearby hill. Oh. No, I would not actually Elder R. They actually said that it would be harder. I think Issa Roken said it would be harder for them to transport the, the expeditions trucks to SnowRunner. And I actually don't think 
SnowRunner should get any more scouts. And they aren't. They aren't. The spaghetti incident? Oh gosh, Eric, yeah, you remember that? Yeah, there's no more scouts being made for, for SnowRunner, I feel. Or that's what her was said, which is which is what I think should happen. I think all scout vehicles from now on should actually just be over on expeditions because that, that's a strictly scouting game. This is a hauling game. We have, what do we have? Like 25 scouts now? Most people, to be honest, if I were to take a, if there was some way to track the metrics of who uses what vehicle for, for what, I can guarantee you that a very small percentage of people who actually play this game actually use the small scouts. But yeah. So it's a flooded race. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, look at that. The Kodiak is an okay scout. It's not the best. Use them a lot for scouting. You, you toss them in the back of an extra truck with the extra fuel, yeah. Or just use a scout trailer, and then just that like, solves your issue too. With a with an off-road truck or a heavy-duty truck. Okay, I need to do this flooded race, I guess. Sadly enough, maybe I just do this with the the Lodestar. Do I have the load star here? Yeah, the wedge to the tree is a good one, yeah, too, as well, yeah. Did I see the new Azov Adam? I've heard about it. I didn't really see it unless, well, I saw kind of like the post about it that Saber threw out. Um, I don't know if there's been anything new since this morning, but to my knowledge, it's basically just going to be another 64131, I'm guessing. They'll probably make it better than the 64131, so then it basically power creeps it and then it gives people a reason to buy it. So yeah, marketing. That's kind of what I'm guessing is gonna happen. Where is the... Oh, you're way over here? Okay, actually it's not, not too far. Let's go. Honestly, small scouts, man, going through trees and stuff like that are amazing. That is true. Dave makes a good point. It's a made up brand, so it can be weak without the manufacturer complaining. So they don't have any restrictions. That is that is something good, actually. <clears throat> I hope it doesn't straight up power creep the 64131. That is my hope. I hope it gets some type of custom add-on to give it kind of like a flair and appeal. Maybe place it in, in some category where it's very useful but not necessarily just replacement of an another vehicle that's uh, been in the game since 2020. But.
Yeah, I know. It's the Boron. It's the Ural in real life. It's the Ural next. So they're not actually mirror models. They're actually just near models. They can't actually make them mirror models because if they did that, they would get in trouble. But they're cl as close to just small tweaks to make them look a little bit different. Don't bust my suspension. Ugh. I might just keep this trailer on as I do this. It doesn't really matter. Hmm. I guess I'll just go through here. Probably should just went around to the left. Come on, give me something. Give me like a little bump up here. There we go. That's all I need. That's all I need in this life right now. There you go. second y'all I need to check something real quick check my discord gotta check the discord do, 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 do. okay good All right. <clears throat> so yeah, I don't I don't know. The Atom could, I mean, I could probably expect if I were to guess, I'm going to say it's going to have 50-inch tires. I'm probably going to say uh 210,000 torque because they said it wouldn't break any type of like torque numbers I'm, 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 I'm honestly I think this I think it's going to be very similar to the 5319 just with some flair and maybe a slower gearbox better fuel consumption and then have its own custom add-ons that's kind of like my prediction the name does sound kind of cool I have to say yeah I, I agree I agree with that I'm keeping this trailer. I'm going to do this with this trailer. I don't really care if I get gold or not. This thing does not care about trailers. Man. Okay. <clears throat> oh, five minutes. Five minutes is all I have to complete this. I think I did this with like pretty slow vehicle actually. So I don't think how I think this is like it's too bad. <clears throat> Yikes, I don't like that. This is a smasher suspension up. Yeah, this is smasher suspension up. 
<clears throat> race if I can see it. Alright, let's go. It's getting dark. Oh, dude, are you serious? Wow, I forgot all about that. Yikes. That's a blunder. Huh. As of six seven zero nine six three N Adam. Wow. What a name. They couldn't just name it like as of like thirty one Adam or something like that. Like All right, Daniel. See you later. That is another thing. It should be like an as of eight. Like, why not as of like eight something, or maybe like a four? Like, why does it have to be another six? So now, when people talk about the as of six, they're gonna be like, okay, which one? The six seven or the six four? Call it the AA. I, honestly, I think people were just gonna call it the as of A. I don't even know if I'm gonna get gold on this. I probably won't, but it's okay. We'll, we'll live. But yeah, actually, yeah, I think I think two ten thousand torque. I'm probably gonna say it's gonna weigh like seventeen ish. Tons. It actually might weigh more, to be honest, but I'm saying 50 inch tires, always on all wheel drive. Maybe, a actually, it might even have its own engine. Uh, probably should have just went around, that's fine. I am going around in this one, though. Probably right. They probably will just call it the Atom. I can't believe I didn't take damage there. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Oh, let's go this way. I think we're okay. I think we're gonna be all right here. Need professional help? I'm getting addicted to the Azov. The Azov D. <laughs> the grad. Nice, man. You were an Azov 6 fanboy? I think I was an Azov 6 fanboy too. Okay, so we completed it within, like, okay, whatever. Got gold. <clears throat> Let's do this movie star. Dude, the movie star trailer, bro. Oh, it's by it's at by the lake. What? I'll do this some other time. Not super, not super worried about that right now. Scouting the area. Oh man. I'm actually close for this. Am I? No, I'm not. I'm way off. That's fine. I can do this later. I can definitely do this later. But yeah, I think that is going to be it for me today, guys. That is four hours. I know I was a little bit late on stream. I know I had the, uh, 
the wrong the wrong message it was <laughs> stream ending when the stream was starting so a little bit of a blunder there um it was great having you guys out here on a friday we got some stuff done today let's see what we got 30 i mean we're 32 percent done with after two streams um that's pretty good that's pretty good so next time we essentially are just gonna start contracts finish the first map probably pretty quick i know i'm gonna have to do some crafting and some logs and stuff like that so that might take some time but yeah i think we'll probably finish scandinavia just pr about the same speed as we finished british columbia though so we definitely made some progress but anyways i'm gonna get out of here you guys go enjoy your weekend Hope you guys have, have a blessed Friday. Go be a blessing to someone and love on someone today. I will see you guys back here probably Monday, I'm guessing. Unless something crazy happens. Some DLC comes out. Some crazy thing is in store for the channel. But anyways, we will see you guys back here probably on Monday. Same time, same place. As always, guys, God bless and stay upright.